Hey, welcome to Creative Spark. Kevin Clark here. It's a privilege and an honour to be serving you at such a time as this. All of those little things that we'd gone through until we came to the here and the now. Now we're connected. It's so great to be here. I am excited about you. Come on. In this post, we're going to speak about releasing emotional attachments to beliefs in the past. Have you gone through anything that has caused disharmony? Maybe it's certain things that had happened to you like when you was a child, I don't know. Could be anything. You could have been excited to be involved in a 100 metre race at primary school as an example and here you are in your little shorts and then it was like, on your marks, get set and everyone's running down that lane and you're like yeah I'm doing so well until you've seen this person slowly like taking over you followed by somebody else and then somebody else and then just before you got to the end you came last and you've seen this like little child like laughing going haha you came last and as a result of that you remember how you felt and you started to feel embarrassed and you started to feel so upset to the point of feeling like a failure and then years have gone by in life and stuff's happened but you've never forgot about that moment and as a result of that you get these feelings of I'm not good enough, I'm just a failure, I don't win, I'm not a winner where in actual fact all of that is so incorrect because number one you are a winner, otherwise you wouldn't be here and you are always in a win-win situation. Number two, you are success and becoming much more successful in every good way, shape and form. Now that is something to laugh about, right? <laughs> so these are the things that can hold us back if we have given our power away from a fruitful, lovely, wonderful future filled with happiness in abundance and joy, regardless of what your circumstances look like in the 3D, you know, physically speaking, or regardless of your financial situation or circumstances and things. The fact that you are here right now means that you are doing extremely well and you are helping not just yourself, but somebody else along the way. As we are all doing life together, life is for living. So how are we going to deal with this block, deal with this uncomfortable feeling, could be around your stomach sometimes when you think about it, you know, that feeling of, oh gosh, you know, that's creating this picture, making you see things from a limitation point of view, when the reality of the matter is, these are just signposts to say, look, there is something here that's causing disharmony, and if we remove this block, there's going to be this lovely flow in the things that you do, in the things that you see, in the things that you are obtaining, you are going somewhere to happen for the good, better and best, right? So let's have a look at the canvas of our mind. So when we go to that example that you might have, everybody's example is different, um, or everybody's experience is different rather, but I'm going to use this one example, get the picture? Great. So let's say you was a child that had that experience he was running down the lane i was running down the lane and i was doing so well and i seen these people overtaking me this is the story on the canvas of your mind right and you're adding flavor and color and detail onto it and you can see yourself going through the motions on that sunny day on that grass and here you are just pressing forward and things and you can hear the crowd and stuff and whatnot and now you're getting near the finish line and as you got to the finish line you started to not feel too great and then once you've finished you've seen the child laughing and you felt so uncomfortable and you felt like such a loser and this is where the story changes because you're changing it right so now it's like and now that I know that I was inside that race with all of the other children and was all having some harmless fun and expressing ourselves in the way that we just was innocently and we all had a really good time and the thing about character building is this when it's character building day there's always so much great wonderful things to learn and i enjoy learning and i enjoy becoming a higher version of myself and aspiring to greatness 
I am amply supplied and I am loved in abundance and that's how it will always be. I am so grateful. It doesn't matter what the situation or circumstance is. Whenever I am in a situation where I am challenged, I know it's promotion time. And then you can put like a full stop on it if you like, or a couple of little dots there if you like. You can even put some dots there and then draw a big massive kite and a big sunshine with all of these beams coming out of it and two little eyes and a big smiley face and that sun is shining on you and you can draw some nice little butterflies that are flying around as well and completely change the story which completely changes the chemistry and now you're feeling so much better about yourself because every day is a beautiful day and you are so much of a winner i'm so happy for you and so grateful for you so let's continue to do the work. Repeat after me. I release my emotional attachment to beliefs from the past so that they do not hurt me in the present. I am safe. Right there, when you feel safe, when you feel secure in yourself, it's a huge thing. Safety and feelings your feelings, feeling the state of who you want to be, how you want to be, feeling the state is crucial. So I admonish you to continue to practice the art of feeling, the art of feeling. If there's something that you want to match Picture yourself in that state and add flavour and colour and detail on the feeling and memorise that feeling. Every single feeling that you want to have, create it and watch how your life will change. Living by design, change for the good, better and best. So that's it for now. Thank you so much for investing your time into yourself. Thank you for adding value into me and my community also. It's been a privilege and an honour to connect with you. Have an amazing day. That's it from me, Kevin Clark. If you're not following, do follow. Hit the subscribe button. Hit the bell for more notifications. And do look out for some great information that's about to come your way. Goodbye for now.